Many people, because of misinformation, believe that the serpent mentioned in Genesis 3.1 is the devil, when in reality, the serpent was never called the devil, nowhere in Genesis. This being in Genesis was called a serpent, which translates into Hebrew as nakash, which simply means to hiss or whisper. The word Satan is not even a name for the devil, for the word Satan in Hebrew simply means adversary, which can apply to anyone who is adverse to the Hebrew prophets in the Bible. You follow? Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. I'm fearless. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. Now, the very first time the word devil was mentioned in the Bible is in Leviticus 17.7, where it states, And they shall no more offer their sacrifices on to devils now make note that it says devils meaning more than one this is plural now now to the english speaking believer this means nothing most of the times however to the diligent inquirer who really wants to know the truth the hebrew word here for devil translates to the word sa'ir which means shaggy hairy and goat this is how the goat, in a subtle kind of way, became synonymous with the devil, such as the goat of Mendes and the Baphomet. Message! According to the Bible, the Israelites did a cruel thing to goats. They would take them to the mountain on the Day of Atonement, which became known as Yom Kippur, and then they would throw them off the mountain to die as a symbol of getting the evil out of their town. Poor goats. Now. Let's look at how the translators like to play games and purposely give other Hebrew words in place of the same English words. For example, all throughout the Bible, the Hebrew word for goat is ezek. However, when you check the word goat in Leviticus 16.8, which states, And Aaron shall cast lots upon the two goats, one for the Lord and the other lot for the scapegoat. The English word goat here again translates to the Hebrew word sa'ir meaning goat, and not the word aze. And the word scapegoat in this same verse translates to the Hebrew word azazil, which means goat of departure, as in the goat that got thrown off the mountain. And azazel is simply another name for who most call the devil. Things that make you go, hmm. Message! In conclusion, these scriptures are often purposely mistranslated. And you, the reader, must do your own research before you go and accept, and even worse, defend that in which you do not know the facts about. I keep telling y'all the language is key. Once you learn the language, no one can lie to you. But hey, who am I for telling the truth? I'm just Kefrey. And this is Back to the Basic. Like, share, and subscribe. Facts we stated, you wanna know something, go back to basics Most saw a trap and was called the matrix The world fibrilized, yet it's hard to face it So I spread truth, hope you embrace it Watch, like, share, bring in awareness We born to be woken, this the awakening So we born to be woken, this the awakening I'm fearless